Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profitex Sessions team. I am Sanjay. Now inside this video session guys, we are going to create a new playlist of Node.js with MySQL APIs. And because this is very first part, so inside this video, we will discuss only about the basic overview of Node.js. So if we move to the next tab, now inside these two slides, Basically, we have seen, we are going to see about some basic concept about Node.js, that is what is Node.js, what is the Node.js features and at which applications actually Node.js is being used. So before understanding about all these concepts, if I open a new tab, now let's say that this is not going to actually about 2020 year, let's think about that is 2008. At before this year actually javascript always let's say javascript always executes by means of browsers means if we, if we want to execute about javascript code then up to 2008 or let up to up to 2009 we have only a single way to execute our javascript code by means of using browsers but after 2009, it means that Ryan Dahl, if I copy the ini initiator of Node.js, so if I copy the name, go to this tab, means after 2009, Ryan Dahl implemented about the concept of JavaScript behind the scene, not by using our browsers, means outside of browsers, we can execute about JavaScript code. So how he can implement that concept? So what basically he does, he made a C++ program, C++ program and he had integrated this program inside the Chrome, let's say V8 engine and it called about no.exe. It means that he made a compiler which basically built in C++ program and execute inside V8 engine Chrome V8 engine so simply it is going to compile and run our code outside of these browsers so back to next tab now Node.js can be defined as a dynamic cross-platform and open source JavaScript framework or runtime environment that is built on Google Chrome JavaScript V8 engine. Node.js developed by Ryan Tal in 2009 was initially implemented as a client-side scripting language. Now it is used to execute JavaScript code and scripts that run server-side to create dynamic web pages. Node.js is not any language. Node.js is not a JavaScript framework. Node.js is basically a runtime environment which is used to run JavaScript code outside of the browsers. It is built in C++ program and Google Chrome JavaScript V8 engine which basically compiles the JavaScript code and execute. At the initial stage, basically Node.js is used to run client-side scripting language. Nowadays, it is being used to implement and code to server-side to create dynamic web pages. Now we have several actually features of Node.js. Now inside this video, this is the four actually I have written. It's our it's a powerful features of Node.js. So most web developers implement Node.js due to its amazing and powerful features. Some of these features of Node.js are something called fast code execution, highly scalable, non-blocking APIs and no buffering. In Node.js, basically we do about asynchronous programming. It means that a single thread can execute or can handle multiple requests only at a single time. So due to asynchronous programming, it executes faster code execution. And due to non-blocking APIs, it is highly scalable. So if you go to the next step, now here we have some applications where actually we use the concept of Node.js. 
with such wonderful features, Node.js is widely used for creating server-side and networking applications. The following are the key areas where Node.js is widely used. First, it's about input-output bind application. Second, data streaming applications. Third, data intensive real time applications. Fourth, JSON API based applications. Fifth, single page applications. Due to wonderful and highly scalable features and for the creating server side applications, basically Node.js is used inside these applications. So simply guys, by going through these two slides actually we need to understand is that Node.js is not a programming, it's not a framework. It's only a runtime environment or let's say it's only an environment which is basically used to execute our JavaScript code. And that JavaScript code is not going to execute only on the browser. It is going to execute outside of these browsers. Due to asynchronous programming nature, Node.js has very fast and powerful features. Due to these features, most of the applications in the recent time are using our Node.js application based programming. So because this is our very first part and inside these videos or inside this playlist, we are going to make our MySQL means Node.js with MySQL APIs. So we are not going to deep inside this Node.js tutorial. In few upcoming parts, we will do some Node.js programming and understand about what are modules, how can we create modules, load modules, as well as we will see about inbuilt modules of Node.js. And then we will see that MySQL is one of them. So by using the concept of web application framework called Express and MySQL along with Node.js, we will make our Node.js with MySQL API tutorial. So this is our first part. So we have seen about the Node.js basic overview. In the next part, we will see that how can we install or what are the softwares we are going to install in our playlist to learn these videos. So inside this video session guys, if you have any doubt, then please drop your comment. I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.